Hi, this is Katie Weeks, your independent close to my heart maker. And today I am joined with the other makers with heart in an envelope challenge. And this month was my month to be able to send out the envelope. So this is a little bit different. I challenged some of my own personal VIPs, um, but this is similar to what everybody received in their challenge pack. So the first thing was the scalloped note card thin cut that was in charcoal. And as we started working on our challenges, we realized that it is no longer available. So I would refer you to the note card thin cut that's in the current catalog. That one is still available and it's pretty much the same thing that's just the flap is a little bit different. Okay, so those were our guidelines. We'll come back to that in a minute. But here's basically what everybody got in their pack, a four by six and a three by four of some mix-in paper pack. This one's a little bit different. This one that you see me bring in is the one that the Makers with Heart actually had. Um, but I've already chopped it up. And then we got these other pieces that were from the mix-in pack and from Sweet as Honey paper pack. We have the belly band that's cut in black cardstock for that um, scalloped note card thin cut. And um, then we also had some enamel dots that are black and white. So I told you I had already tucked up some of my papers and I also prepped some other things as well. We could use black, white, and one other color of cardstock as well as vellum. And I cut out a bunch of flowers and hearts. So I'm actually going to make two projects. I'm going to use that note card little envelope looking thing and um, I'm starting with the frame from Here's the Story, the February stamp of the month and I'm stamping it in intense black and it is stamped on a piece of uh, white daisy that was cut from our rectangle thin cuts. It was from the middle rectangle. And then I also cut, um, stamped on the little heart and the intense black ink as well. And then I went to my um, stamp set called Four All Occasions and in raspberry ink, I stamped Happy Anniversary. Don't tell my husband, this is gonna be, um, a little anniversary gift is going to be in it and I plan on putting a gift card inside this. So I stamped that and then when I went to um, assemble things I was just really careful about where I put my adhesive on this um, rectangle because I had also cut from it the um, little tabs that hold your gift card and that's another thin cut set we have all of my supplies that i use are listed in the description by the way so i mounted that inside made sure i could pull up those little tabs to add a gift card and then i started working on the closure so i did not want a belly band on this one i'm going to use one on my other project but i wanted to use a magnetic closure so i took one of the sheets that my thin cuts came on and i cut the magnetic sheet i know you're probably gasping but i store mine a different way so um I played around, I used that adhesive tape that's in our catalog that has the red um, film on it, and it's a very strong tape. So I used that to hold the magnets, and I put one inside the band that came around the top of the um, note card, and then I used one inside on the pink heart and you'll see me working on the white heart first and then I have a pink heart that goes on top of this and that pink heart actually has a magnet that I adhered with that adhesive tape underneath and I also use that adhesive tape to adhere it down to the white heart as well. And so it gave me a good enough bond that that uh, magnet closure would work. And I was pretty pleased with um, 
the holding power of that red line adhesive tape that we have. Um, to get the film off, it was pretty tricky. I couldn't get it with my nails. So I just used the tip of my scissors and um, I had to use some strong scissors to cut off the little um, extra magnet that was sticking out from that heart. Okay, and then I layered up the other hearts and made sure that when they were on the front of this note card that they covered the inside hearts that stuck out just a little bit underneath. Isn't that cute? There will be some still shots at the end of this video. Okay, so some other things that I prepped were the 3D flower thin cuts, and I used raspberry as my extra color of cardstock. I cut it from white daisy and from vellum, and I did not use the largest in that 3D flower thin cut pack. And then I had pre-cut some pieces to make this little gift um, this little card that I'm making. I really don't know what kind of card to call it. Um, it's like a tri-panel flip open card that's going to be very interactive. So it measures 4 by 12 and it is scored at 4 inches and at 8 inches. And then I have several pieces cut for the inside of the card as well. Okay, so I have two white cards and one black card that measure seven and a half by three and three quarters and they are folded at three and three quarters um, and then i have some other things that are cut as well um, various layers and they will be in different colors you will see this black layer and i believe it is cut at three and a quarter square and I have the uh, pattern paper which should be three inches square as well and those dimensions will also be down in the description below. So I'm going to start layering these up. I want the white cards on the side to flip up and the black card in the middle to flip down and i will use a lot of things at that three and a quarter square and three inch square to layer up all the different panels um, i just cut up a whole bunch of extra pieces of whatever i could get out of my supplies for the pattern paper and then i cut up a bunch of black and white and raspberry cardstock to those dimensions as well and it gave me a lot of flexibility so you will see me um, assembling those and again this one on the other side will flip up um, I actually uh, saw this card design first created by Jacqueline Paik, I believe it was. She had posted something on our Maker Facebook group and I thought it was adorable. The cards that she had flipping open were actually from pattern paper and it was adorable. I just did not have enough pattern paper in my card kit. And I have nobody to blame but myself because I'm the one who made the mystery envelopes. So there's the basic layout of how that card will go together. The next thing I'm going to start working on is layering those flowers together. And I will show you part of this process, but just not the whole process. So what I do with these is I use my bone folder and I come in and I curl the leaves on each layer um, after I decide where my layers go. Um, I curl the leaves with each layer under with my bone folder. Now you could go crazy inking these up and doing all sorts of things, um, but for time's sake, I just wanted to get these layers together. I used liquid glue to adhere all of my layers together, and I used those enamel dots in the center of these flowers. So the white cards, I put the flowers on the inside and there is still room to write a little uh, sentiment or note on the top where it flips up. And I, um, 
I only used the glue on the center of the flower and they have held quite well. So here's a look at how I finished embellishing my little cards. And you'll notice that I added a vellum belly band around this whole card, flip open card um, that I've created. It's kind of like a card portfolio, isn't it? So I'm going to use this for my mom for Mother's Day and I think she'll like it. Um, the vellum belly band, uh, I secured it with that red line adhesive tape that we have in the back of our core catalog and it worked wonderfully. So here come some of your still shots. You can see I used the stitched hearts, um, thin cuts, those are retired, and I also used our basic thin heart thin cuts. Um, but I love to use up my stash and use all of my supplies, and that was allowed. The thin cuts was allowed on this challenge. Um, I really didn't pull in a lot besides the raspberry cardstock and the vellum. Uh, everything else was either stamps or thin cuts that I used to create this. Um, I really like the wow factor of how this card flips up and down. And I believe one of our other makers with heart made one of these cards recently too. So if you get a chance, I hope you'll give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you also hit that red subscribe button and then hit the bell and turn on all the notifications so you know when I upload a crafty video. And if you could leave a sweet comment, that would be wonderful. And sharing my video with your crafty friends would also be appreciated. Make sure you check out the playlist with the other Makers with Heart.